Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Myth Busting. This episode's myth is based around a video I made recently on mini beacons. In that video I discovered that you can use strong beacon effects on smaller beacon sizes. Now this created a lot of comments from people asking if this affected the beacon range. Now I had no idea the size of the beacon affected the range, which seems completely plausible and the reason I didn't know this is because I haven't used beacons enough in survival Minecraft to know. So I thought it would make a good episode to do some testing and find out what's going wrong. So over here we have my testing facility. Now I know that the range of the effect is based around the beacon's beam. And I know this because since I've been doing my update videos I've been reading the patch notes. And in one of those updates they changed the beacon's radius effect from being centered around the beacon block to being centered around the beam. So previously you would have an invisible sphere which would be the radius and that would be centered around the block whereas now what we have is it's centered around the beacon beam. So that means we have half of a sphere at the bottom so the radius is all the way from the bottom of the beam and then going upwards it's like an invisible cylinder so that's what all of these blocks here represent and that goes all the way up into the sky following around the beam. So our testing is going to be very simple. I'm basically going to be using different size beacons, putting effects on them, and then walking around and figuring out how far the range goes. Now I've got some indicators over here in Roman numerals to let me know how far these blocks go. So the first one is 10 blocks out, then we have 2 for 20, 3 for 30, 40, 50 and 60, and I doubt it's going to go any further than 60, but it might well do. Um, but I think that's about as far as the range probably would go, and that's a complete guess, but of course we're going to do some testing and find out. So almost immediately into my testing, I have discovered that everything I've built here for testing is actually wrong. Now I started off with the smallest beacon size, I wanted to establish how far the radius goes, and it appears to be 20 blocks exactly, and then I decided to go around the outside here and just make sure it was the same on this area of the radius and I found that by standing in this space here I would also get the speed effect refreshed. So you can see here I'm still in range of the beacon. So I thought about it for a while, I thought what's going on here and I decided to stand back so we're just inside these blocks. So if we have a look you can see the speed effect gets refreshed. If we take a few steps back it doesn't get refreshed. And that made me realize that the shape of the radius around the beacon is actually a cube and not a sphere. Now I realised I made an assumption here that it would be a spherical shape and the reason for this is because the other times you use radiuses in the game it's always spherical. So for example if you use a command block and you centre it around a point the search radius will be spherical around that point. And the same thing for the player and mob spawning as well. For example mobs will spawn instantly 128 blocks away from a player and that is a spherical radius around the player and not a cube shape. So straight away we have learned that actually around the beacon beam it is a cube shape of course I'm going to double check that but we're going to continue doing our testing and find out how far the range can go. So I'm thinking the best thing to do is to actually rebuild this but I'm doing another little test right here that you might be interested in. So we're in line with that 20 block radius around the beacon and now we're going to go down lower than the blocks at the bottom there which we can't actually see although if I remove one of these we can get a good idea so we're still not lower than it and we are getting the effect refreshed and if we go down a little bit further it's not going to get refreshed so it would appear that the shape is cubic and so we're going to modify this arena to confirm that. So here we are up in the sky I'm doing some testing in our new testing facility and I have discovered two things first of all this beam continues to go into the sky and right now we are inside the build limit so our speed effect is being refreshed but when we go above the build limit it no longer gets refreshed even though the beam is there going up into the sky so you can see here our effect has run out. Now the other thing that I've learned as well is to do with the player. The player is two blocks high so they can be inside um, the radius at either the head height or the feet height depending if you're above or below the radius of the beacon and by doing some testing I've discovered that if any part of the player is inside the radius the effect is going to be applied to that player. So we have almost finished our testing, there is one left to do which I want us to do together so first of all we will go through the results. Now of course we have already established the radius shape around the beacon and also how high up into the sky it goes and also how it affects the player as well. Now if you have a tier 1 beacon that's 9 blocks in total it will go as far as 20 blocks which is the magenta. Then a tier 2 which is 34 blocks in total goes as far as 30 which is the light blue. Tier 3 with 88 blocks goes as far as 40, which is the yellow blocks, 
and then tier 4, 164 blocks in total, goes as far as 50 blocks, which is the green in the distance over there. And of course I also tested tier 5 with an extra layer of blocks at the bottom, but that made no effect, so that is the furthest that it can go, 50 blocks range. Now this test that we need to do is to do with the mini beacons, that's what people were asking. So if we remove this block here, we're going to invalidate all of the beacons down below. Now this is still going to have the strength effect, which is a tier 3 effect, but will it have the tier 3 range? So let's go all the way over here and see if it refreshes. And it's not going to refresh. So we can keep the effect of a tier 3 effect, but we can't keep the range. So the range is always going to be based on the amount of blocks attached to the beacon. So we may not have busted a myth this episode, but we have learned something, and learning is good. And so therefore I think it has been a decent episode. But if you guys have a myth that you want to see busted, then leave a suggestion in the comment box down below. And if you've enjoyed the video, please do give it a like, it is always appreciated. But other than that, thank you for watching, and I will catch you next time.